Boy Fuki with Eduardo Ayala. Now, Eduardo, congratulations on your victory. You're facing El Loco. And one thing that I noticed when you were facing him in the first round, the very first punches were the body. So was that part of the game plan? Yeah, you know, we uh, just practiced to just start throwing at the body, start working with the jab, you know. Uh, for me, I always try to go start going for the body. Uh, that way it kind of gets me um, going with knowing what he's going to throw after the, the body hit. So, um, body is one of the main main things we, we like to work on and then everything follows after that, you know. Yeah, he wasn't too local about that, man. His face, <laughs> you could tell, it hurt him. Yeah. So, um, he, was a, he was a hometown boy, man. You took him out. I guess, how does that feel whenever you do something like that? Well, you know, a lot of times you got to be the toughest one of the state, you know. You got to start knocking everybody out if you want to advance in the sport, you know. You got to start going from your state to out of state, you know, and that's my goal is just to go through whoever gets in my way right now, you know. If it has to be my hometown uh, opponents, then so be it, you know. Now, though, though, I, to be honest with you, I don't know you, so to the Arizona boxing fans and to myself, man, tell us about you, man. Uh, how long have you been boxing? What is your boxing record? And just tell us something about you. Yeah, you know, I'm 29. Uh, I started when I was 20. I was a late starter. Uh, I kind of just threw myself in there. I kind of knew I had the ability to <coughs> advance in the sport a little bit, um, you know, faster than than usual. You know, I was motivated to get out there after, you know, I gave myself a decent amount of, uh, of a goal. I told myself I'll do amateurs for four years, learn the sport, and then after that, you know, turn pro, and that's what I did. You know, I, I started in the Golden Gloves uh, after my second year fighting, and I won the Golden Glove Championship, the light heavyweight championship, and that's kind of what gave me the inspiration to go further, you know. Uh, I felt like I did have something to show, to prove, and that's kind of just what I did, you know, just pr proving myself. Nobody really knows me because I started late, so I kind of just got to come in and, you know, show everybody who, who I am. You know? Now, with this victory, where does your record stand right now? Uh, I'm eight and two losses and one tie, you know. Awesome. Now, you had a great victory, man. I'm sure you're going to go enjoy it. So, what do you have to say to your supporters that came here? You know, I just want to say thank you to all my supporters that came, you know. It, Things changed. I was gonna fight later on, uh, but we were changed to the first fight. You know, everybody changed their schedules to come earlier. You know, I appreciate everybody who did that. All my sponsors. You know, without you guys, this wouldn't be uh, possible. You know, um, this goes to Open Tech Alliance, um, Aurora Eye, uh, Sicilian Butcher, um, Sanchez Maintenance, uh, Hash Kitchen, um, WD Drywall. Thank you guys. And you know, without this. Without you guys, nothing's really possible. Thank Here we you go. Guys. I'm here with Eduardo Ayala. I'm Boy Fritti, man. Congratulations to you. Appreciate it, man.